episode four of Everything Mayor. Welcome to the show. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do help me get this channel where I want it to go. But where we're going to go today is John Mayer as a member of a super group. Is it happening? Well, I don't know. We're going to find out in a second. Uh, there was some interesting discussion that happened on the Howard Stern Show with Billy Joel last week. We'll get to that in a moment, so make sure you stick around. Before we do that, though, as you watch this, as you watch me talk about it, as you watch the Howard Stern interview, who do you think John Mayer should be or could be in a super group with? Now, some people might argue that Dead & Company is kind of a super group. I think if you're into the jam band thing, specifically the Grateful Dead, yeah, it's kind of a super group, uh, or at least a super pairing between original members of a just legendary group and a, another guitar player. It was attempted before with other guitarists, but I don't think it had quite the impact that John Mayer has had with Dead & Company. Certainly, I mean, I can speak for myself where that super group has influenced me. I've seen them live. I would have never gone to see a Grateful Dead show or anything related to that before, but Mayer opened my eyes to the guitar playing, the music, and it's something that I'm not going to say I'm a dead head, but I definitely appreciate the music and I definitely enjoy it um, thanks to him. So nice byproduct of a potential supergroup, but does that really constitute a supergroup? You will see the Traveling Wilburys referenced in this Howard Stern interview, and that was Roy Orbison, Tom Petty, Bob Dylan, George Harrison, uh, who, am I, who am I forgetting in the Traveling Wilburys? You tell me. Did I get them all? Roy Orbison, Tom Petty, Bob Dylan, George Harrison, Jeff Lynn, ELO. That's it. I knew there was somebody else. So those are all people who are just incredibly huge in their own right. Now, if you go back to the 80s, you had Phil Collins playing drums for Eric Clapton and Mark Knopfler. Now that is kind of a super group, I think. It's pretty cool. I mean, you had Nathan East on bass uh, and I think Greg Fillingains from the Sob Rock Tour on keys, um, Sidemen, you know, amazing players, but they're not solo artists that have kind of come together into the super group format. So bearing that in mind, who's your pick? Who do you want to see John Mayer in a super group with that is a very difficult question for me to answer. Uh, Billy Joel was going to answer it for us, maybe in a second. So keep sticking around. But uh, for me, man, that's a tough one. Um, you know, there was a there was a group kind of coming up. Um, I don't remember the name of it. I don't think anything ever happened with it. But it was Dave Matthews, Jacob Dylan from the Wallflowers, and a couple other people. Now I love Jacob Dylan. I love Dave Matthews. That was huge for me throw John Mayer in there and, you know, we might have my super group that Mayer is a part of. Uh, I don't know. That's a tough one, though, because I really like Mayer on his own with what he does. So I don't know that I'm actually interested in seeing what he would do in a super group. Uh, of course, I would listen and pay attention. But, you know, since I can't come up with it, let's see uh, what Billy, Joel and Howard Stern come up with. It's kind of interesting. You know what I was thinking about you? Wouldn't it have been great if George Harrison and Tom Petty had asked you to be in the Traveling Wilburys, I would have wanted to do something like that. It would have been fantastic. You would have collaborated with those guys. You should have been in that band. I thought about putting together a band, me, Don Henley, and Sting. Oh. And maybe John Mayer on guitar. Whoa. You well, know, let's do it. Well, everybody's busy. <laughs> there you go. Everybody's busy. So Henley from the Eagles, Sting, Billy Joel, and Mayer on guitar, well, they're all busy, so I don't know that it's going to happen. But that's a very interesting combination. I find it very interesting because you've got three people who are absolute rock legends. Don Henley, Sting, Billy Joel, and then Mayer, who's on his way. Now, Mayer's a good 20 to 30 years younger than all those people, so I think he would be okay with being the sideman guitar player in that. Uh, I don't think you're going to, you know, he would probably be like, you don't need me to sing. You've got Sting, Don Henley, and Billy Joel. I mean, who, <laughs> how could you possibly contribute vocally in that? And he would, obviously, if they asked him to, but I think he'd hang just fine. But those are three incredible rock vocalists. Um, the other interesting thing about that is uh, just different than the Traveling Wilburys, that's a real band. Don Henley plays drums, Sting plays bass, Billy Joel plays piano and Mayer plays guitar. 
there you go. Not only do you have singers, but you've got an actual group. Uh, you know, so Howard goes on to bring up Paul McCartney. He goes on to bring up Ringo Starr. I think Billy brings up Jimmy Page as a guitar player option. Um, so it's very it's an interesting discussion and a great interview if you like Billy Joel. I love Billy Joel. Uh, so it's really, really very good. Uh, Howard and Billy always put on a, a good show as far as an interview. But um, maybe that's my answer. Mayer and Sting together. I love Sting. That would be great. Never thought about Don Henley being with Mayer. Uh, John Mayer sat in with Billy Joel before. So there is a relationship there musically and personally, I'm sure. Um, kind of an interesting concept. So again, I ask, who is your supergroup for John Mayer to join up with? Is it Dave Matthews? Is it other singer-songwriters from when he came up? You know, back in the early 2000s, you had a lot of people who kind of came up together and then they've all gone their separate ways. Some have fizzled out and, you know, in my opinion, none have had such a staying power as John Mayer because John Mayer is so multifaceted when compared to a lot of his contemporaries from the early 2000s. Uh, but would you want to see Jason Mraz and John Mayer uh, and Gavin DeGraw and Howie Day and all those guys um, in a super group together. I don't think that I would personally, but hey, there's probably somebody out there who would like that. Um, maybe it's you. You tell me. Um, if I have to come up with a list right now, super group, I'm going to try to build a band, an actual band, an actual band, Sting on bass, Mayer on guitar. Who else? Who's on drums? Well, I mean... <laughs> Dave Grohl on drums would be interesting. Dave Grohl would be drum, uh, on drums would be interesting. Phil Collins could be interesting too, but you know we'll, we'll try to keep it fresh and modern. Plus, Dave Grohl is everywhere, right? He's, he's almost a little too available. Uh, so Dave Grohl on drums, as you, you probably would expect, because you feel like he would be in whatever super group exists. And then what are we missing? We need a, like a keyboard player or, or another vocalist or something. Mm. Ah, why not? Billy Joel. Throw him in there. That's my list. What's yours?